Hey, welcome back and welcome to lesson seven in Learn JavaScript on the Now platform. My name is Chuck Tomasi and I will be your guide once again as we go through more information on strings. So let's get started. Of course, all of the scripts you see here are available on the GitHub repo that you see at the link there. Feel free to copy them, download them, make them your own. Okay, now in the last example, I've got a bit of code here from lesson six on strings. I remember the case where we had Chuck's car with that embedded single quote between the other single quotes and the workaround there was to use double quotes on the outside. Well, there is another solution to this and this is called escape characters. And the backslash in strings is very special and it can change the meaning of what a character or the entire string means. I am going to put a backslash there and that says, you know what? This quote is no longer special. Treat it as a normal quoted character. And if I run that, it will in fact compile and the outer quotes become valid. I can put in gs.info my car, print that and it will say Chuck's car with the quote. This is an escaped quote and that's part of the power of the backslash. Now, there are some other characters, there are plenty of them, but I want to introduce you to some of the more common ones. A backslash N is a new line, so it can print string one, backslash N, then string two comes out on the next line down. That is a special case. Backslash T is a tab character. Again, this is in the GitHub repo in lesson seven, script one, so you don't have to remember these and write them down. They're available to you in that sample script. Now, how do you actually print a backslash? Because if the backslash is special and it escapes the meaning, you need two backslashes. How do you print two backslashes? Use four backslashes. We'll get to that in just a sec. They are right there in the examples down below. Backslash single quote, as I showed you, is a single quote. And of course, backslash double quote is how you would print a double quote. So if you're running into these weird characters or you want some of these weird characters like new lines and tabs in there, you can get them quite easily. And if I run those, you can see single string, new line, two lines. And here is, in starts out with the quote, single string, there's my backslash n, and then the second line is two lines. So even though it's one GS info statement, it comes out like this, and you can just sort of see the invisible carriage return, new line feed, whatever you want to call it right there. The second one is Chuck's simple script, where I use the backslash single quote again, and even in this editor in Microsoft Visual Studio Code, it shows up as a different color to let me know, hey, you know, something funky's going on here. Because if I didn't have the backslash, then it turns really neat colors and goes, no, this, this just isn't making sense. You have something going on like, mm, no, no, let's not do that. Now here is a single quote escaped by a backslash, and then forward slash means nothing. I don't have to worry about it. Don't confuse a forward slash with a backslash. And if I want to print the backslash, I print two backslashes and it comes out exactly like I want. Don't confuse a forward slash with a backslash. How many radio ads have you heard where somebody says, log into our website at HTTP colon backslash backslash? Like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. You're not doing it right. Sorry, I had to use that as an example because it's one of my pet peeves uh, about people who don't proofread their own ads. So that is special characters in strings, and that is lesson seven. Again, I invite you to take a look at the GitHub repo where you can find this and all of the scripts for this series. Till the next lesson where I talk about what you can do to ensure your variable types are correct and converting from one variable type to the next, including strings to integers, integers to string. Join me for that one. I'm sure you'll be interested in finding out more. Till then, take care. Bye.